Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to unbox December's BoxyCharm. I know I'm a little bit late. I got my box late and then it was Christmas time and there's just so much going on. So I haven't had a chance to film the unboxing until now. But as usual, I try on all the products for you guys and I give you guys a full review. So if you guys would like to see what is in this month's box, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so excuse my nasally voice, I am getting over a cold, <laughs> so I sound a little crazy, I'm sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and dive right into the box. So the theme for this month is called Glitz and Glam, and let's see, the first thing I'm going to pull out is this Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette, and this is actually a color correcting palette, looks like this. Honestly, I never use color corrector palettes or color correcting at all, <laughs> so this is going to be like a first time for me. But I do know like these reddish orangey shades are for correcting like dark circles and darkness on the face. And then the green is for dullness, I think. Let me check. I had to look it up online because I always forget. Oh, it neutralizes redness. So, you know, maybe that might help because I always get a ton of redness, as you guys can see right here kind of like in my t-zone and then a little bit down here and then the lavender shade is supposed to be for dullness so this neutralizes this helps dullness so we will see if it makes a difference at all i'm just gonna grab this morphe concealer brush and go at it i already have my primer down and my brows done so let's see if this helps at all <laughs> I just realized I totally forgot to read the description, so I will do that in just a second. Hopefully I'm doing this right. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I look crazy. <laughs> so real quick, the description says that Bella Pierre's Professional Color Correcting Concealer Palette is formulated with rich, creamy, good for your skin ingredients, helping to create a flawless, healthy complexion. And this retails for $29.99. As I look crazy. So I am doing that. And then next I am going to go into the green. Real quick, let me wipe off my brush. This is so weird. I wonder if this is even going to do anything. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go in to the mint green. And this is supposed to help redness. So like I said, I have a lot of redness right here. My skin hasn't been too happy lately because, I don't know, I think it has to do with the holidays and all the stress and the crappy food <laughs> and just kind of like a mixture of all of that okay so hopefully this will cover up some of my redness and then I have a little bit of redness right here kind of on my nose eh. okay and then the purple is supposed to help dullness I don't really know what that would mean for my face do I have a dull face? Um, let me see. I don't know, guys. Let me look online where to put this. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put some down here. <laughs> I don't know. The chart I'm looking at has some around here, so we'll see. I look like I'm getting ready to go to, like, a rave or something. I don't know. Maybe a little on my chin. There we go. Okay, so enough of that. I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of like dab it in a little just so it's like blended and it doesn't peep through when I apply my foundation. Okay, so now that I look like this, I'm going to go into the next product because we have a brush here. And this is by the brand Crown, which I love their brushes. They're really nice. It says that this is the Deluxe Blush Brush, but I'm actually going to use this for foundation because to me this looks more like a dense foundation brush. And it says, with super soft, dense synthetic bristles, this brush can be used with both power and cream, <laughs> power, powder and cream blushes and provide medium to full coverage for a more dramatic finish. So yeah, I am going to use this for my foundation because I already have a couple of blush brushes that are just kind of like my tried and true brushes that I really, really love. This is really dense and soft, so hopefully this will be good for my foundation. We will see. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and just apply a pump like I usually do. Let me get my hair out of the way and we will see how this works. Oh god. Okay, so I'm just going to go in like this and just 
kind of blend this in and see how it looks. Maybe this isn't good for a foundation. I don't know, because I see it like leaving like those streaky marks. Um, it works a little better as I'm stippling versus like blending, if you know what I mean. So I'm not sure if I like how this blended out my foundation. It might not be dense enough, so that was my bad. I just thought maybe this kind of, really. I swear every time I film my neighbors mow their lawn. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. Um, but anyways, I feel like, I don't know, I thought this was going to be a good foundation brush. But as you can see, like, it didn't really cover up too much of the color correcting I did around my eyes. Maybe that's because I haven't applied concealer yet. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this and just kind of wing it, I guess. And I applied a little bit more foundation to my hand for like a second coat. So hopefully it'll look okay. I think once I apply concealer to my under eyes, like my, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, it's gonna actually look a lot better when it comes to the color corrector. Okay, so next I am just gonna conceal my under eyes, cause as you can see, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little bit of that orange kind of peeping through still. So I'm just gonna highlight and finish the rest of my face. So I think I actually do like how this brush uh, blended out my concealer. So yeah, I'm going to work with this a little bit more and just kind of get used to it, but I do like this brush. Okay, so the next item we have is a Tarte mascara, which is so awesome. I love Tarte. They are one of my favorite brands. It says that it is a jet black vegan mascara that has a molded brush that grabs and coats even the tiniest lashes for 2,700% more volume. So what I'm going to do is kind of speed through the video at this point with my eyeshadow and then we're going to try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of create like a smoky eye, something simple, and I'll speed through it so it doesn't take forever and then we will try out the mascara. Okay, so I have my eyes done now, and I'm going to go ahead and test out this mascara. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes so I give it a fair shot, <laughs> and we will see how this looks. So I love the packaging. I think that is so cute, and we will go ahead and see how this works. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this mirror right here so I can get nice and close. Okay, so right off the bat, I feel like this is giving my lashes a lot of volume, which is something that I love, and it's also giving me length, which is really needed because I don't have the longest lashes, but I really, really like so far how this is looking. I'm going to scoot in a little. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is definitely making my lashes look better. So this is exciting. I love a good mascara. Okay, so this is definitely a plus for me. 
I really, really like how this makes my lashes look. I love this, and I'm so excited that they included this in this one's box. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and add a couple of falsies to my lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, so I just added a few lashes to the outer corners of my eyes because I really love how this mascara made my lashes look. And then I went ahead and applied bronzer and my highlight. So the next thing we're going to go into is this blush palette. This is by the brand Real Her. It retails for $32 and it says treat your cheeks to an instant natural glow with three shimmery tones. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, it slides out like that. So we have these three shades right here. Let me go ahead and take this plastic off. So we have more of a shimmery pink right here. Then we have the coral color and then more of a rich kind of mauvey brown right here. So I think I'm trying to decide what color might look okay. Maybe I'll try this right here, but I'm gonna go in very lightly because it does have some glitter in it, but I don't want it to be too glittery. So we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Luxie brush right here and just kinda dab <laughs> and then Actually, this is not that bad. It's pretty light, which actually I prefer in a blush. I don't like overly pigmented blushes because I'm not like crazy about blush. But I do like how this is looking. It's not bad. The good thing is that I actually don't see much of the glitter. So I'll go ahead and swatch these as well for you guys so we can see what the other colors look like. So this is what it looks like on my fingers, and then we'll go ahead and see. Yeah, these are very sheer, but I kind of like that in a blush, so I'm not complaining. This is pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> so the final product we are going to go into is this liquid lipstick by the brand Pretty Vulgar. I'm really excited because I've never tried anything from this brand, and I, their packaging is so cute. This is the My Lips Are Sealed Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. It retails for $24, and it says, A highly pigmented liquid lipstick that provides a radiant metallic finish, nice, comfortable, creamy texture, and a citrus cordial flavor. <laughs> and this is in the shade My Lips Are Sealed, I think. Is that the is that the shade? Oh, I know. It says Secret Sabotage. That's the name of the shade. So this is like a bronzy, metallic kind of color. Almost actually kind of rose goldish, which is something I love. It does kind of smell citrusy. I kind of like that. It's a nice change from the usual liquid lipstick scents. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Okay, so this is definitely not matte. It doesn't dry down, but I do really like the color and the finish of this. This is really pretty. I really love this. Um, yeah, it's definitely very creamy and very moisturizing. So I definitely love how this looks. I think I will be wearing this a lot. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Overall, I think I really love this men's box. I like all the products, except the color corrector I'm just whatever about. So <laughs> if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.